so guys funding has been made easy so i'm coming to fund an account now so um the first thing you may want to do ensure that you must have downloaded the bundle app done your registration your kyc and other things so the next thing you may want to do is to open your bundle app when it has been verified this is my bundle app then hold on let me turn on no disturb so this is my bundle app you click on add cash then you see fund with cash you click on fund with cash it's loading then you key in the amount which you want to fund with so it will be in naira for for now so you key in the amount in naira 175,000 naira so that's the amount in naira that i want to fund with then you click on next then it will bring out um where you must have listed your bank details that's the bank that you would like to send from so for example i have my uba bank i have my microfinance bank but i prefer using microfinance bank because it's faster so i click on microfinance but if you don't have any bank here you need to add your bank click on add new bank then you can add your bank but since i already have this so i just select my bank then click on continue so once i click on continue the next thing is going to search for a merchant so these guys they are 100 percent real they are no they are not scammers here they, are, they use their own in in-house people to do this thing so they give you a merchant that is in-house that is not a scammer that is real it's not like you send your money to somebody and the person is a scammer the person run away with your money no nothing like that so they've given me um a merchant now which is a jimio abiodu so this is the guy's name this is account number this is reference number so the bank is go money because i'm using go money to send that's the name of the bank that i'm sending from so they also gave me someone that's also using the same bank so i'll copy the account details then i'll open up my go money bank account so once i open up my go money bank account then the next thing i want to do is to transfer the money to this guy bank transfer you can use any bank you can use any bank but i'm i'm okay with my go money paste the account number then ensure that the name correspond jimmy then um go back to your bundle to check if the same name is the same name then you have a place that they wrote reference copy this reference then you paste it on the place they're asking you papers of payment or narration depends on the type of bank that you are using then key in the amounts 175,000 175,000 correct so you click on complete payment so i've transferred the money to this guy so i can take a screenshot of this payment i can take a screenshot of this payment for reference sake then once i come here i'll um, send the payment proof to this guy i can chat with him here and say hello sir i'm done done so i can do this then i can now click on i have paid you see the place they wrote i have paid you tap on i have paid then you select all these your terms and condition then continue so i will need to wait for this guy now to release the fund into my bundle app so he's going to release this amount of money but there's a service charge for this transaction the service charge fee is under the amount which is 525 naira so that's what this guy is charging for this transaction this is their normal service charge that they charge if you are if you are trying to fund with this amount the higher amount you charge you fund with the higher service charge that they charge you so wait for this guy to release the fund so let me refresh and see if the guy has um, okay the guy has released the fund it has released the fund so I need, let me read these guys read them then i have to you know close this uh, interface and go back remember when we started this transaction i was having my 685 dollars here so let me refresh now and see so the money has increased means that the guy has released the fund so if you check here under um all assets you see ngn and you see that ngn is having one hundred and seventy four thousand four hundred and seventy five. This is as a result of um the service charge that the charger that's why it has reduced so it was supposed to be 175,000 naira. so the first thing you do is like if you don't have usdt here you can click on see all click on see all search for u usdt sorry usdt then 
so let's use it then you buy you click on buy then you click on ngm which is naira it means that you want to use naira to buy dollar that's what you, that's what you mean then you click on max max means that you want to use all the money 174,475 that's what you want to use so which will give you 235 dollars 235 dollars 235 dollars then you click on next 235 dollars you click on next Let me set this up so I can continue. Continue. Two thirty-five dollars, right? Two hundred thirty-five dollars. So everything is in, is now in USDT. So the next thing you may want to do is to click on USDT. Click on withdraw. Once you click on withdraw, so you need to copy the wallet address of the mtfe app or whichever place you want to phone you have to copy the wallet address and paste it here at this place or so if you want to copy the wallet address if you want to copy the wallet address this is what you do you open the app that you want to copy it from which is the mtfe app you click on wallet you click on recharge it brings out the wallet address then it scans it immediately it has it just scanned it now or if it doesn't scan it you can just copy it from from there you paste it here so it has scanned it so after that the next thing you want to do is to select network so the network we are using is trc20 tron is here so you select the network tron then you click on withdraw click on withdraw 235 so because of the service charge, if i do 235 they are going to collect the service charge from the original funds i have there so I'll do 234, then click on confirm. So they are going to charge one dollar. So that one dollar is supposed to be 235. But because of that one dollar charge, they will still charge. So you have to do 234. So it's mark. Then send code. So they are going to send you a code to your email. Check your email for OTP. So the next thing I may want to do now is to open up my email. Um so guys this place is also another important part once you open your email if you check your email you will not see the code unless you check important important see it's here bundle africa confirmation code so you copy this code you paste it here click on confirm withdrawal key in my pin and that is it it has gone guys so funding is as easy as ab so you need to wait for for like um one hour time for it to reflect see the money has left my account you need to wait for like one hour for it to reflect into the um the account that i just funded so once it reflects then you can now take action from there so you open up your mtfe app once it has arrived you click on wallet you see the money there it has come then you click on transfer the next thing i want to do is to click on maximum you click on confirm transfer so the money will move from wallet to asset so guys if you enjoyed my video kindly subscribe to my youtube channel thank you